position gets better. It's true. And well, we're about to roll on into this pick and ban phase. And I will hold out hope in this pick ban that maybe Gyroscope will make an appearance for the first week ever. We're in week four. Gyroscope still yet to be played in the Challenger League. And with that said, I'm guaranteeing now it's going to be banned away first. It is, Twiggy. I knew uh, it. Who would have guessed? And by the way, my <laughs> earphones are not wireless. I have a wire. It runs down the back of my neck. They're IEMs. Oh. Iridium. So, uh, yeah. No, no, no cat quite on that one. Thank you very much. I think about my audio equipment very happily. But agility. Dash gets banned out as well, which, uh, hey, that's, um, th they were listening to us, obviously. Yeah, right, as we were kind of talking about it, uh, it will get banned away. Team Blue is getting first pick on this one. That is the side of Exalty picking first, which is reversed from what I thought it was going to be. And oh, well, that's going to make it a little hey. bit harder. There's Slippy Slides appearing through the fog at the bottom of the screen, going to be the fourth pick. So it will be Blue side picking first on this one. Back and forth was that first selection into Slowdown, into Freestyle, into... Oh. Slippy slides and a fourth into to the map void. five. We'll into the void. Map five coming through for Exalty. What are they looking at? Going to be reps if we get that deep in. I think map five, usually a decent chance that we see it. Oh, that one's even, that's significantly that's, more wow. colorful. I like that one. That was my favorite so far. And uh, Flip yeah. of Faith is the random pick. A parkour and then Flip of Faith. Fifth, uh, blah, 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 for words. Flip of Faith I really do like as, a, as, a, uh, as an equalizer. I mean, we've only had one uh, seven mapper so far in the Challengers mm. League, but I think Flip of Faith is just one of those ones that's very fun to watch because I, I, I just love watching players bonk into the side of a wall at full speed. It's true. And if we do get all the way to Flip of Faith, I think it's going to be... Uh... I'd be excited to see that one because Miquatro in particular was very, very fast when we did see the team of Exalty on Flip mm. of Faith. Going for a lot of very, very low j jumps, willing to risk it. That'd be an exciting match seven decider as, uh, you know, fingers crossed we'll be seeing it. Uh, and fingers crossed we'll be able to see anything at the bottom of our screens as well, Twiggy. Things are getting a little bit... Uh, <laughs> I was we're we're oh, getting no. a few, few barcodes here, but you know, sometimes that's how it we, we already know the fine. players well enough. That's the only thing that really displays at the bottom. We'll, we'll just We'll just make sure everybody is aware at, at who's driving. I feel like we can we can get that part done at the very least. We're professionals, so that's fine. That's so true. Yeah. It will so potentially true. deny us. Oh, like, what what if we can't see Ratchet's picture though? What then? Oh, that's a good point. Oh my god! I, yeah, I just realized <laughs> that would actually ruin my day completely. It would be awful if that ended up being what happens if we can't see. We are uh, waiting for players at the moment in our pre-match warm up. It means we get a little bit more time to sit, smell the roses, watch the fireworks. And we should be underway with this match. I can hear cars <laughs> driving in the background. And there are cars still in our pre-match warm-up. Reps is not going to be the first map. So we're just waiting for a no. map change here. <laughs> yeah, I, I, was, I was waiting to see if we were going to get the car run us over there in the in the camera in the finish line or whether it's just <laughs> going to bonk and park on the left. It does look like uh, some... Uh, it, look, I feel like this is this is forbidden footage Ooh. here. Oh, there it is, the parking. Oh, my. It's, it touched the finish line, to be fair, though. So better than Dexter can do so. <laughs> oh, come on man he's not even playing in this match okay, he can't yeah, be no, throwing I, I, strays I'm out joking. like that no, he, no 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 he fixed it eventually he fixed it eventually i just i just reminisce over the time when he parked the car three times in a row on the edge of the finish line true that's true and i believe uh they do have a 100 percent win rate on reps as well do sprout so yes, as much as we yes, can meme on dexter parking the car at the finish line they have not lost and they have played it all three weeks so far. well they played it in the first three weeks and then didn't play it in week four on wednesday Day. But other than that, you know, they're doing pretty well on that map. We will be kicking things off here on back and forth in our match between Exalty and Schweinheim Racing. Exalty really needing a win over Schweinheim Racing, but those are not going to be easy opponents to take down. Ratchet and Barbos will be looking to take this one away. It's a first map pick for Exalty. We've seen a couple of teams come out on this first map. I mean, I'm thinking back to last week when Shrineame Racing looked very, very good on Slowdown, looking very practiced. And I'm hoping to see again, you know, players really just looking good on these first picks at the least. Yeah, we thought to start things off when we looked at the first two, three weeks, we were thinking, oh, the teams seem to be picking their second map as their favorite. Their first map doesn't seem to be as strong. We saw a lot of teams winning out against their opposition's first map. I feel like that is starting to be, uh, the holes are being filled in just a little bit on that. You know, people are getting more consistent on their map picks. Uh, it feels more like teams are taking away their map picks more often than not. Hey, uh, but now that I say that, it's just going to be back and forth between, you know. <laughs> 
It's going to be back and forth, Twiggy. I mean, hey, you've got it out of the way early. We've got the map name into a sentence early on. Things you love to see. We will see how this first round turns out. It was fine and falling a little bit behind, but Ratchet has managed to catch back up with the players from Exalty. Link still leads the way, though, as we head towards that big turnaround, as we head towards the, the identity, the part that gives this map its name. It is going to be the players from Exalty leading, but only just for the moment. And Quattro looks to be dropping back. Yeah, it's very, very close up at the top here. Ratchet trying to keep up right now with Link and the Quattro trying to not look at that profile picture as he moves forward. He has a better line. He oh. may just finish first and a oh. bonk from Miquattro and Link. Sorry, a bonk just from Link, but Miquattro a bit slower. Gives Barbos a second place. It's an ace immediately out of nowhere for Schweine Aim Racing. And oh my lord. That's Where not what did I expected. That come from? I, did, I was not ready for that. We entered the identity with Exalty on for an ace. We exited with Schweinheim finding the ace. Very clean indeed for them. And not exactly the start that we were asking for from Exalty. You know, we were saying we're hoping players are looking good on the identities they picked, that they put a bit of thought into what they're going to select and come out strong, come out fast. Not fast enough from Exalty. Schweinheim up three points already and under a lot of pressure is Exalty in this second round as well as Link is a second and a half clear of the other three players. And Ratch and Barbos move ahead of me Quattro as well. Ooh, bit, uh, everyone slid out just a little bit there. Barbos with a decent line, but uh, everybody went a little wide on the edge of that one. But it does leave Schweinheim racing out in first place and second place. Link does catch back up to the rest of the players, but the damage has already been done as we move into the identity once again. Barbos leads from Ratchet, leads from Mikwacho, leads from Link, and there's not much of a way you can catch up to players if they have a good line here through the identity. Barbos and Ratchet look like they're just going to take it away. No problems whatsoever. It's first and second once again. Schweine and Racing move up to six points immediately. Very, very good indeed from Schweine. I mean, look, it's not a particularly fast round. About a second clear of... Uh what the fastest time has been in Trackmania Challenger League so far on back and forth. But it's fine to leave time on the table. If you're that far ahead of your opponents, if you are willing to save it a little bit, you can see it's worked out for Schweinem, and they now have taken six out of six possible points from the first two rounds. Yeah, uh, you don't get much better than that to start things off. You can't get better than that, literally. But it, obviously, <laughs> they would have liked to. Uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe there's, there's some way you can do better. Maybe you can just, like, put, put Exalty so far in the mud, set a world record that, that there's just no way they're coming back from this one. But either way, I think they're going to be happy with uh, their results so far in Ratchet and Barbos. Uh, lead once again, first and second place. Barbos falls back a little bit, but the Quattro doesn't quite catch up. So once again, they lead into the identity. I mean, pressure on Miquatro just to get a single point. Exalty, they've still got that goose egg on the board, Ooh. and they may stick with it a little while longer. I do not think there's a point up for grabs for Exalty in this round. Three perfect rounds in a row for Schweinheim. If they both make it through the line, yes, they do. Solid and nice. it's a faster round as well. Yeah, 58.4 puts them within, uh, well, I think now, yeah, that is exactly five tenths below the current challenger's uh, world record on this one. So, Shrine Aim Racing feeling pretty pretty secure right now. Nine points up. All they need now is a draw and it's all over already. Link, oh, that's not how you want to take that area. He's already down once again. Seven tenths as we move forward. These starts have not worked out for Link. That first turn, the reactor has been leaving him stranded a gear below where he wants to be a lot of the time and dropping tenths as a result. And it is once again a lead for Ratchet and Barbos. Neither of them really having to full risk either. They have not been putting up spectacular times. They've just been putting up fast enough times in Exalty yet to really find their way into this match. They're dropping a long way back again. Yeah, once again, Ratchet and Barbos lead straight away. They're warmed all the way up moving forward. Miquatro takes a more inside line, takes less speed through to the identity, but catches up a little bit with the two Schweiner Aim Racing players, but they lead, and it may just be a 12-0 map, although a little bit of a clip, but Ratchet stays ahead of Miquatro and may just take it, and again, Schweiner Aim Racing, four aces in a row, 12-0! The second 12-0 in the Trackmania Challenger League of 2023. We started off the entire competition with one as Homino's son managed to take down BS Plus competition. And I was not really expecting it here. On this one, Schweinheim Racing will just do it to Exalty. On Exalty's pick, Schweinheim Racing did choose violence. They pick up 12 points. They were looking very, very good indeed. And I mean, how do you recover from that? Honestly, if you're Exalty, they didn't get time to warm up on that Twiggy because it was over before it even began. Schweinheim Racing just went, man, we're really starting the day at six. 
We, 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 I, I want to eat dinner. I want to get this done quickly. They're going to get the series over with in 10 minutes. What's going on? That is... Okay, Woo. okay, slow down next, and uh, I'm just going to take a quick look at the uh, the historical mm -hmm. records on this one for Shrine Aim Racing. Won it 10-5 uh, last week. Uh, they looked didn't win so it good on it last week, though. Attacks, but did win it against Orcs in the first week, so pretty decent record on it so far. They looked a lot better last week than they did the last two. I mean, they genuinely looked so, so quick on it last week. Their identity was near flawless every time as well. This is going to be a very tall task for Exalty if they oh, do uh, want to come back into this match. I mean, hey, that'll help out a little bit, right? Barbos makes the first real mistake for Schweine no, Racing here in this match. Not the fifth in a row! It, it, it won't be what the a fifth disaster. in a row. Um, I mean, hey, look, he's only eight okay, seconds you never behind. Know, you never know. Yeah, who knows? Uh, yeah, maybe McQuattro and Link both make terrible, terrible mistakes and both have to respawn. I don't think that's happening on slowdown. I'm not going to lie. That would be <laughs> incredibly uh, out there. Ratchet stays in the lead for now, maybe able to force a draw and not let Exalty ahead for the first time. Stays ahead of Link. McQuattro Ooh. takes a little bit of a dive. It's not too much. It's okay. He'll finish third place. Barbos uh, coasts his way to the finish line. He was never going to catch up, I don't think. No matter what, but Shrine Aim Racing... Still, although they have dropped a point now, stay ahead of Exalti. Can't believe they gave Exalti a point. Honestly, they? embarrassing performance all yeah, around. Genuinely, worst team in the tournament right now. <laughs> with, okay, but with that said, <laughs> the time that was just put up by Ratchet is a tenth and a half off the fastest time in Challenger League on this map. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, it actually is. <laughs> so, oh, oh. <laughs> with that in mind, if Barbos doesn't make a big mistake there, Things still looking dicey for Exalti on this map because Fine they looked dialed in here last week. Ratchet looked dialed in again in that first round. They are warmed up and a mistake from oh, Equatro is going to leave Link in a lot of trouble. I think Fine are going to take him in the identity. I'm going to call that now. Yeah, I, I don't think you can even blame Exalti for making mistakes here. The the, the margin for error against Fine Name Racing right now seems so minimal that it, mm. that it's, uh, you know, you, you want to take the tighter lines, you want to try and risk every single turn, and it's not quite working out for them so far. Link steps up to the plate, he's in first Ooh. place. A bit of an awkward line from Ratchet sends him down into third, but he catches back up. A little dive again from Barbos keeps him in third, but, I mean, they'll finish that one off, and McQuattro is the one leading up the rear. This time around, it's another draw. Hey, full credit to Link holding off the two players of Ratchet and Barbos through that identity. I called it a little bit early. I said I thought Link was going to crumble under the pressure, but absolutely does not. And we get a second draw in a row. It's again a 56.8. And that's, hey, I said it was worrying for Exalty that Trinane were able to put that up in the first round. At least Exalty have proved that they can do the exact same thing back. Link with a very good time indeed. Yeah, all that now remains is being able to overtake that first place. Shrine Aim Racing may not have aced every round so far, but they have had a player in first place every round so far this series uh, for six rounds in a row. I mean, as long as they keep that up, you're never going to go under the score of Exalty. So, uh, you know, that's just, you know... Twiggy, that's never, true of every never round. Never let the ball touch the net and you can't lose. That's it's <laughs> true of every round except the last one where Link won. Just, uh, you know... Oh, yeah, no, I forgot you can have draws <laughs> yeah, the other way around. Hold on, I'm, I'm Yeah, dumb. yeah, you know, I mean, it's not entirely necessary that Fine Aim are in first for that draw to happen, but they are in first at the moment, and so you're nearly right, Twiggy. Barbos hey. and Ratchet do Whoa. lead, and Link will go flying out. Me Quattro was very great through that first hill though and Miquatro is keeping the pressure on but Ratchet and Barbos they look like they're oh, gonna that. cruise to the line this is the ace normal service is oh. resumed as fine and we'll move three points clear yeah it's another very very quick time <laughs> again from Barbos to lead that one out uh, two tenths still away from that uh, challenger record so again, Trinane Racing, yeah, they're, they're back. I mean, again, they have not been down on points to Exalty so far. It's still early doors, let's be honest. We, we're acting like the series is over just because of 1-12-0. Man, those <laughs> yeah. happen every day. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, it's true. BS Plus competition after they got 12 0 on slowdown in the first match of TMCL. Bounced back really well to win a single map and then lose Domino Sun 4-1. Yeah, well, you know what? <laughs> discount that one right now it's all in the present that's what your mind's got to be in right now and the quattro definitely living in the present maybe even living in the future he's going very very quick on this one 
just needs to stay ahead of Barbos and Ratchet and he can keep his team within a stone's throw of Schweiner in racing who seems to be on fire right now but Barbos is taking very very good lines Ratchet right behind him they're forcing Ooh. McQuattro to take some risky plays Ratchet drops down into fourth place but Barbos has moved his way up into first and Ratchet takes back third and it's going to be a round win for Schweiner in racing out of nowhere once again a double snipe for them sends them one point more clear of Exalti these pigs are magicians. They had no business winning that round. Barbos overtaking on the last couple of hills to get the first place. And Ratchet recovering from a, a little bit of airtime as well to still hold on to third is incredibly impressive. And it's a big win as well. It moves them up to the seven point mark. Another ace now secures the map for Schweinheim. And they will have dispatched Exalti in quick fashion. With that said, the ace now looking a little bit more unlikely as Ratchet finds oh, a little bit of a clip. Oh. It's now maybe a little bit back on as that will be Link heading on. All the way to the back of the pack a full crash will send him a long way behind ratchet me quattro needs to hold on to the nice fine in the map yeah ratchet did not lose enough time that it's going to discount link's absolutely massive ring bonk there and barbos stays out in first place me fighting for his life for link's life as well here in the series needs to stay in second position here just to keep away fine name race towards the identity oh my god uh, oh. <laughs> oh my god oh. <laughs> It's um, me for a second there. Someone's going to win the round. It's fine. Hey. They pick up two more points. Exalti do pick up another one. The map is not over yet, Twiggy. And luckily, that, we, a, that means we don't man, have to look at me anytime soon. I thought I'd have to ask Dormammu to bargain there for a second. That was wild. <laughs> Holy. Oh, we're back. All good. Whew. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, okay. And uh, hey, try name. One point away. They're, they're better than okay at the moment. Yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> definitely. Shrine Aim Racing are going to be feeling <laughs> good about themselves here. But right now, Exalti lead by just about half of a tenth. Both of those players out ahead. And uh, Shrine Aim Racing uh, keeping up for the time being. No rink bonk from anybody? No, we're all good as they stay very close by. Yep, yeah, uh, everyone managing to hold on close to each other on this one. It is going to be a close round, but Fine Aim Racing, they can afford anything that is not an ace for their opponents. Any single point they can squeeze out, no matter how they get it, will win them this map, will get them into a 2-0 lead on the match. We head towards this identity one more time. Equatro has the lead. It's from Ratchet. Link in third place, and Ratchet is looking to move into first as well. Oh. It's a tough line through that hill. Equatro has the speed, will get to the line, but Ratchet holding on for second place guarantees that point for Schwein aim racing and they will pick up a second map in a row try name ddosing the servers ddosing the stream to make sure that they win there amazing <laughs> no, staying well ahead there and try name racing yeah clean throughout the whole map i mean Whoa. that was the first round that they that they convincingly lost but they still got enough points so it doesn't matter yep they do manage to hold on. They do manage to pick up that second map. And we will head to freestyle. As, uh, we'll see who does manage to pick it up here. This is back to an Exalty pick again, Twiggy. Hopefully looking a little bit better than they did on their first pick. Yes, that is what you would like to see, uh, obviously. But, uh, well. Hold on. Okay. Uh... Okay, okay, all good. We're going to head back to cameras for a second after this just to uh, see if we can uh, fix this one. Uh, it's all good. You know, technical difficulties. What would what would a stream be without good good old technical difficulties? I feel like that's, you know, that's that's par for the course with just esports in general. Would not be esports if we didn't occasionally have a brief issue, a, a small technical issue. And we will hopefully get this one sorted out. We will get back into the match sooner rather than later. And in the meantime, that just means you get to look at us a little bit more. You get to admire Twiggy's setup. He's got so many more RGBs than I do. Although, I guess, technically, uh, Magentas and Cyans rather than RGBs. Y yeah, sure. Yeah, CYMK setup, isn't it? That's, that's, that's how it works. Yeah. I just like pink yeah. and blue. Okay, look, it's a beautiful shade of blue. And we are back into the first round. We will launch straight into it. Barbos and Ratchet looking to close out a third map in a row. And they are leading at the moment, but Miquatro is managing to catch back up as we head through the ring checkpoint. Yes, uh, Barbos staying out ahead, and uh, it's looking still confident from Schweiner in racing. Obviously, we've only just started the map, but you do just get that feeling after two maps that were as uh, 
or maybe not dominant on the second one, but very much dominant on the first, and that they can just keep that one up. Right now, Miquatro is battling for first place, and Ratchet does fall back down into fourth link with a very good first jump as they move forward. Barbos trying to take back that first position. The last jump here is good from him, but it's a little too low. Can he get through the triangle in time? Not quite. Miquatro takes first place, Link ahead of Ratchet, and Exalty take the lead for the first time. Close at the end, but as you say, Exalty do hold on. Miquatro cleaner through the last jump. Barbos risked it all and nearly forced the draw. But Exalty find two points and they will take a lead. They'll be feeling better about themselves on this one. Back on their map pick, seeing if they can actually get it done this time around. But, I mean, the pressure is still on from Schweinheim. They still looked quick. They still look threatening. Barbos especially looking for some very low jumps. And they could well have paid off there. They could have indeed. Barbos stays out ahead. Ratchet starting to catch up now don't get distracted by that uh that, that face in the corner don't do it it's all good <laughs> they stay out ahead by name racing looking to make up for the little small errors that contributed there at the end uh, to by name racing only grabbing one point from that round they'll be unhappy with that based off of the performance of themselves over the last couple maps the quattro stays out ahead it's been a little bit of a time since we've had a Schwein AMA, so I feel like they're due one again based on that previous performance. And we have so yet long. to see an Exalty Ace on the match in general. Maybe this is where it happens. Maybe Barbos makes a mistake and lets Link through. Maybe Link just drives faster. It's going to be close to the finish line. It could be anyone's round this time around. It won't be Ratchet's. It's Barbos through the line. First of all, that last jump working out, and we will get a drawn round as no one from Exalty able to snipe. Mm, Barbos is doing incredibly well to keep Ratchet afloat right now, who is having a bit of trouble getting onto the wall climbs. It's not the uh, the jump that is the problem here for Ratchet. He's taking a very, very low line as he starts out on those wall jumps, and sometimes clipping a wheel, sometimes losing a bit too much speed, and just not being able to catch up to the rest of the players. So maybe uh, needs a little bit of a cleaner line on that one. But for now, Barbos keeping Schweiner Aim Racing afloat. Barbos holding them within one point of their opponents. Exalty, though, they have looked close. I mean, both of them were very close to each other in that round, and it's nice to see both players finishing close to each other and in a position where Schweine make the mistakes. Exalty will be able to capitalize, will move further ahead on this map, and they really are in dire need of a map win, because I'll be honest, Twiggy, I really don't see anyone managing to reverse sweep in the Challenger League. <laughs> Yeah, that's a difficult ask, I feel like, to take on. It's It's been difficult enough for most teams to even get to seven maps, let alone uh, to pull four back out of nowhere after a three uh, map first loss. But you never know. Exalty uh, seem to like a bit of drama, uh, so uh, it's, it's very possible that they just absolutely love trying to come back uh, from absolutely nowhere. Barbos stays out ahead this time. Will Ratchet keep up this time around? I don't see him anywhere. Oh no, he's still he's still there. He's still with everybody else. And he's not. actually taken second place, but McQuadro just has a better line. Takes out first. Ratchet finishes off that one this time around, but it's another round win for Exalty and a 1080 for McQuadro. And Miquatro just is quickest through that identity by far that time around. And a better performance from Ratchet, but with Link taking third place as well, Exalty hold on to their lead. They even extend their lead slightly, and Barbos with an early mistake. This could be Exalty extending their lead yet further. I mean, based off the back of Miquatro's performances, I think we could be looking at another round win here. Yeah, Miquatro is insanely clean through that identity so far, hasn't made any mistakes as of yet hasn't lost a significant amount of time on any of those jumps either, which is the other, obviously, uh, risk of, of, of taking those jumps in a certain way. Ratchet stays out ahead for the time being. Barbos has dropped back just a, a couple attempts hit. You can make that one back up so easily with a clean identity. Only a little bit it is definitely in the running, and if there is a mistake, if anyone falls off this wall at the end of freestyle, Barbos will be there to take advantage of it. Ratchet sailing over the top lands later than Link and Miquatro. As a result, they are first down the hill, first into these walls, and will they keep it clean? An ace on the cards for Exalty right now, if they can keep oh, it clean. Miquatro jumps high, Link jumps low enough to clip. Will not be caught up to by Barbos just yet, but Ratchet is looking to hold on to second place. Oh. There is Barbos now catching up, and it will be a draw as everyone will slide across the line. A slight clip, enough to cost Link the round win for Exalty. McQuattro is still a massive, massive, massive help in this uh, in this map here for Exalty, staying ahead of Shriner Aim Racing no matter what happens. Very clean throughout the whole map, but definitely through that identity as well. That is the big part. He seems to take a lower line and manages to get a lot of speed out of each jump without bonking uh, at all. It seems like uh, there's no fear going into that one. 
It's the not bunking that's uh, a very important part <laughs> as well, yes, non-freestyle. Uh, it's, hey, any time you make the jump, even if you get a clip, not falling off the wall completely, making it through the jump could be enough. But in a round where Barbos was charging through, it was not enough for Link last time around. So keeping it completely clean would be ideal. We haven't seen any mistakes at this ring checkpoint yet, and we will continue to not see any mistakes at the ring checkpoint. Everyone making it through cleanly, heading over the last couple of turns, heading down the hill, and the identity awaits. Rach stays out ahead for the time being this time around, and it's a long jump once again from Barbos. He falls back into fourth place with less speed than Link and McQuattro, who do move up into first here. Ratchet is going to try and keep up with them. Link has been taking lower and riskier lines on this one. It goes a little higher on that one, maybe a little scared not to bonk on that one. Ratchet oh, and Barbos stay out ahead, and they take first and second, and they flip the table on Exalty. It's now an ace for Shriner Aim Racing, and they move one point ahead. Well, Barbos got very close to losing a wheel into the wall there on the last jump, but made it through, and it was quick. The first jump, the difference maker on the identity for Schweinheim that time around, putting them in first and second, and from there, they just held on. And as you say, they pick up the ace. They move to one ace away from a third map win from three. And Schweinheim, this could be their night. It could indeed. Exalty back, well, not in the mud per se, but definitely not feeling good about Letting Shriner Aim Racing take an ace there, despite their best efforts. It was just clean from both of those players. And uh, they just seem to have more speed. And when they get that speed in, 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 in a place that is good for them, and manage to keep it clean all the way throughout, they're barely missing on a little bonk there. It works out perfectly for them. One ace now, all they need as they move towards the identity once again. Barbos and Ratchet jumping along one more time. Miquatro will land first, and it'll be Miquatro to lead from Link going into this turn. Wide from Ratchet going through. Miquatro and Link rising up that wall. Miquatro will be cleanly oh. through. Barbos will make the clip. It's up to Ratchet to hold on for a point for Shvinaim now to prevent the ace. And nine points total from Exalty. Ratchet will make it cleanly through. Miquatro in the lead, though, and Link taking up third. Means that we will have a tied game on eight points, Twiggy, and either of these teams with a round win would close things out absolutely all they need to do is get a player finishing in first place and a player in third or better Victory. and they finish out this map now but you could you could also just see it going you know 17 20 <laughs> you know how it is <laughs> uh look uh, exalty i feel like are they the only team we've seen go to overtime in challenges so far i think it might be in their first uh, or the, the first one we commentated in, in week two uh, you could BS well be right. On uh, there was uh, Schweinheim Racing have also been to an overtime on slowdown uh, against Nummelops in week one. Uh, uh, I believe my, there's only been a couple. We've only, only seen a couple. a couple of overtimes so far in the competition. And who knows, maybe we'll see another one here. I believe that was a couple of mistakes. Ratchet into a wall. Link with a clip somewhere along the way as well. And it's Barbas and Miquatro racing for first place at the moment. A draw would send us a little bit closer towards that overtime. And there is a chance, but it comes down to Barbas overtaking Miquatro right now. Yeah, Miquatro stays clean, takes that lower line once again. Has more speed as he moves round to this final drift before the wall climbs. Barbos stays right on his tail but needs to make up some time here. Two tenths down now. Some uh, risky lines Ooh, could fast, do him very fast. well and that first one does and Miquatro has a little wheel clip and falls back behind. Barbos could manage to force this one into a draw once again. It's Ratchet's safe overtaken. on that final jump. It's Ratchet good from the Ratchet as well. overtakes and Schweinheim Racing take the map. Where did Link go? Link must have had a clip. It was not a big clip. I, he lost five, six tenths to Ratchet through that identity. And that is enough for Schweinheim oh. Racing to take it. A third map win from three. They are on match point already. And they are heading back to their own selection as well. Twiggy, this could be one of the quickest matches we've seen so far. We have seen a single 4-0 before this point. Alternate attacks taking down Easy Dream in week three. This could be our second. Yeah, and it's not, I mean, th this is just a completely different ball game so far. Att Attack's taking down Easy Dream. It didn't seem like they were really, you know, pushing any boundaries there. They weren't really, you know, trying their hardest on this one. It seems like right now, Schweiner in Racing are just bringing out consistently good times. Even when mistakes happen, there's always one player managing to get forward and contest the opposition. This is really mm. clean so far from Shrine Aim Racing, and uh, I, I, I seem to recall they are very, very proficient here on Slippy Sides as well.
True. Uh, and we have seen from some different teams, you know, different strategies coming out in these matches. Uh, I think of Solar at the top of the Grand League, where Pack has been full risking Carl Jr., one of the most consistent players. That's their strategy. Schweinen, just happy to have both players driving consistent times, even if they are not necessarily pushing for world records, even if they're not necessarily pushing to set the fastest times. They always seem to have two players there at the end, ready to score the most points possible from an opponent's mistake. As we move here to Slippy Slides, it's going to be important now for Exalty to really put on the afterburners. Bring stuff back for the team. It's looking almost over already. And that can be such a difficult mental position to come back from. But McQuattro stays just as consistent as ever. Pulls out ahead for this first round of this map. Brexit takes a very inside line and pulls back first place. McQuattro with a little more speed stays right on his tail. Will overtake as well as we head towards the identity into the first jump. We will go and it is Miquatro holding on to that lead. But there's two cars in red right on his tail. Ratchet might slide out now. Stays on the inside of that wall. Link on the hunt for a snipe on the finish no. line. Everyone cleanly oh, through. It's a happened? mistake from Ratchet. Ratchet clips on the inside. Flies out Miquatro and Link pick up a round. Oh no. Okay, well, it's not the end of the world at the very least, but that is not a That's mistake. only round one. <laughs> yeah, it's only round one. It's not a mistake you want to be making, but at the very least, they get one point out of that round. And uh, Exalty, once again, they take the, uh, the, the, the first round of the map at the very least, but they have still yet to find an ace in this whole series so far. Try name Racing seem to come out with them when it matters. But right now, Exalty in the lead. So let's keep an eye on them. The Quattro down a couple of attempts to start things off. Yeah, very different lines through the dirt there. Both players from Exalty choosing to go right, keeping full contact with the ground. Shrine and willing to take a little bit of airtime for more of a for a shorter distance through that dirt. And we'll keep an eye on that in the rounds as well. It seems to be pretty even between the two teams coming out of there in general. But it has separated out a little bit further on in the map as Barbos takes the lead. Ratchet with a little bit of a mistake has dropped back as well. The Quattro and Link keeping the pressure on, looking for another round win. But as you said, the aces are not there for them. There is always a player from Shrine in contesting and always a single point at least picked up for them. And right now, Barbos is out ahead. McQuattro with a little more speed, but that all gets equalized as we move to the bug slides. Barbos stays out ahead by a long way now. McQuattro struggling to keep up, struggling to take back that point. It is going to be another draw no matter what happens now. Barbos crosses the finish line seven tenths ahead of his opposi opposition. And a 1-11-6 is very, very convincing once again. That's a quick, quick time indeed. Three tenths off of the record in Challenger League for Slippy Slides. And that's just been the case. I, I, I said it at the start of that round. Shrine Aim do just have one player up at the top nearly every... In fact, in every round so far. They've always had someone in the top two. And it's just the case that both of them can put up the times necessary at the moment. And Exalty, they've been struggling to prove the same. Miquatra not having the week, the, be the best week of it. Compared to where Miquatra has been in previous weeks. Which is one of the better performing players in the league. Yeah, so far, I mean, maybe the pressure getting to... I mean, uh, it would get to anybody at this point after losing your first map 12-0. That's a devastating mm. blow to take. And Ratchet and Barbos stay out ahead at the start here of this next round. Three tenths out uh, from Miquatro, leading from Link as well. It's close from all players, but once again, a matter of half a tenth can make all the difference. Ooh. Oh no, Miquatro wraps himself round a pole. Oh, that's not great. And uh, Link falls back as well. Ratchet and Barbos take first and second very convincingly as we move to the identity. It's Slippy Slides, though, and a mistake here will cost you 10 seconds or more. And so we're seeing if Ratchet or Barbos do make that mistake. They can safe it, but there's only so much you can safe on Slippy Slides. They will safe enough. First place for Ratchet, second place for Barbos. A 111.3. Wow. That is a new record in the Challenger League for Ratchet. And they will move back in front of Exalty. Wow. Takes over the, uh, takes over the record there from Snow from BS Plus Competition brilliant time and is ve getting very close now to contesting grand league times there only by what yeah. maybe a, a tenth two now? tenths yeah just ju yeah just under two tenths that we are away from a grand league time there beautiful play by name racing as i said are just pulling out amazing times and Miquatro with a big mistake in that middle of the round, but it was with Schweinheim racing already in the lead. Miquatro trying to risk get as close as possible land as early as possible on that bug slide in the middle of the track and when that, that's the kind of pressure they're under right now. Those are the plays they need to try and make because that's the kind of time that Ratchet is putting up, setting new league records. 
Exalty, it's going to take an awful lot to pull this match back under control. Mistakes like that sliding out of turns are not going to help Exalty. Not whatsoever, and Shrine Aim Racing once again not making a mistake now that they've warmed. Aha, well, I said it. There you go. There's our first <laughs> cast of cast of the day. Barbos sends, uh, sends himself spinning to the edge of the map. Ratchet stays out ahead. Maybe he can set a new record twice in a row. Mequatro uh, trails by eight tenths. Nope. nope, sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I, I've got to keep it interesting. Oh, no. At the very least, Mequatro is now the only player out ahead, it looks like. And he will take first place. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Link, however, has fallen back. Ratchet takes second, and uh, the, no, no new record to be had this time. <laughs> <laughs> How does this round end up in a draw? Three <laughs> massive mistakes and links, especially, I think you got to be kicking yourself for, because it was on. Uh, there was a chance at the ace there. Exalty still looking for their first ace of the match. It is... It's tough out there for them, and they really need to be capitalizing on the mistakes that Trina make, because they are few, they are far between, and they need to pick up the points when they're offered. Indeed, they do, and uh, that's, that's uh, well, that's been the first unconvincing round from Trina Racing, but they still managed to squeeze one point from the stone there, and uh, Ratchet and Barbos now looking to make up for that tiny mistake, letting Exalty back in, leaving the door slightly open now. All they need to do, finish it out. Four more points here. Two round wins would do that. Two round wins and Shvine, they've been able to find them. They squeezed another point out of the last round. They are still yet to go around without scoring at least one point. And with both of them up here, even with Ratchet now falling oh. back, they still look to be on for that point win. Barbos will help them out with oh. it. Or Link, excuse me, will help them out with it a little bit. Miquatro has the lead. It's so far sloppy, not clean lines through this section of the map for anyone really, apart from Miquatro, who now needs to not make a mistake through the identity. Ratchet chasing Miquatro, holding on. That's a good through this last turn will set him up nicely for the final one me quattro will finish in first place ratchet does find the grip does find the bug slide for a second place finish barbos will finish in third and the points different remains a two as fine are now an ace away from completing the clean sweep yeah just keeping exalty at bay round by round they're just making less and less mistakes than exalty and me i mean that's it that's been his uh well his first like you know brilliant performance yep. here I, I don't want to I, I don't want to be mean it's been his first you know really good performance here on slippy slides uh you know he he, he fell out of the uh, the series last map it seemed like and uh he's getting back into things maybe here but starts out in fourth place to start this one off and my name racing just seem again a little more consistent both before identity mm -hmm. and in identity yeah, at the top of the map, they do seem to come away with the lead more often than not. That means risks to be taken here by Exalty in the back half of the map. Link is catching, but is still in third place behind the pigs who are racing away from them. Link, though, will gain. Oh, that was so close to getting a wheel into the pit. Ratchet holds on. Quattro comes from nowhere to get a second place heading into the identity, and Ratchet will lead. This could be it for Shrineham if Quattro makes a mistake. Ratchet stays out ahead now, McQuattro trying to keep up, but Ratchet is gone. McQuattro takes first place. Barbos might have a better line through here, though, and does catch right up. Is now right behind McQuattro. McQuattro with a better line, but Barbos <laughs> snipes it out by 36,000. Takes first place, brings them one more point closer, and stops Exalty once again from getting a round win. It needed to be an ace in this round. Now it can just be a win. And Exalty denied even a win themselves in that round means that they are not within striking distance. They cannot win this map this round. Things are still tough, but at least they have held off Schweinheim for a little while longer. And Ratchet has slid out twice now at the start of that identity, over-rotating the car a little bit and not getting the bug slide started. Need to be careful of that happening again. Yeah, definitely. I think he's been pushing for really, really high times here, as we've seen already with the uh, the Challenger record. Uh, and I think he's been just trying to keep on doing that every single round so far, and it does. Uh, well, it, it makes four more mistakes. Luckily, Schweinheim Racing do have two players on their team, and at least one of them is consistent every single round. It seems like McQuattro now keeping up with Barbas and Ratchet, but Link already five tenths behind on this one is going to make things difficult for the team once again. Just a round win from Schweinheim Racing takes this map away, takes this series away, and McQuattro is contesting for that first position, but he needs to keep first position here as long as Barbas and Ratchet stay in first and third. Barbos out ahead. Ratchet trying to keep up with McQuattro here, takes... 
that lead away. And Barbos That's may crushed. just finish first, and that is going to be it. It's an ace from Schweine Aim Racing to finish things off. It is a flawless series, 4-0. I thought Ratchet had crashed on the outside there. I thought maybe we were going to get another draw, but nope. Kept the car inside the wall and manages to pick up another ace. Just an incredible performance all around. What a strong week four for Schweinheim Racing as we have now crossed the halfway mark of the Challenger League. They continue in the hunt for a top two position, continue in the hunt to get into that upper bracket automatically from the, the kind of group stage here. Yeah, a really impressive performance. We we saw a new record. We saw a very clean map, a 12-0 to start things off. That's, uh, yeah, I feel like the, the, the series was almost over after that 12-0. It's so difficult to uh, bring yourself back from something like that. Just one map can do it. Uh, and yeah, no, it didn't seem like Exalti really had a grip on the series uh, at any point there.